Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about Newton's forward interpolation formula. This topic comes under unit 2 in our numerical method syllabus. So the first formula is yp equal to y0 plus p del y0 plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y0 plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2 by 3 factorial del cube y0 plus etc plus nth term where p is equal to x minus x0 by h. Here x0 is the beginning value of the x data, h is nothing but the difference between the x data that is interval of x data. This is called Newton's forward interpolation formula. This formula is used for interpolating the values of y nearer or the beginning of a set of tabulated values and extrapolating the values at y is called backward differences. Newton's backward difference formula is yp equal to yp equal to yn plus p del yn plus p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial del square yn plus p into p plus 1 p plus 2 by 3 factorial del cube yn plus etc plus nth term. Here p is equal to xn minus x0 by h. So, here h is the difference between the x data. So, what is the interpolation? What is extrapolation? That means interpolating means we are going to find the value of y from the given data whether if suppose the value of y, the value which we are going to find the y is nearer or beginning of the set of tabulated values, we can use the interpolation. If suppose the value of y is at the end of the tabulated values, then we can use the extrapolating or backward difference formula. So, here we have some notations the del y0, del y1, del y2 etc. So, the first del y0, del y1, del y2 are called first order forward differences. Del square, del square y1, del square y2 means that is called second order. If suppose del cube means third order forward differences. When you are writing the del in the reverse case, we used to have some difference between the forward and the backward that is the reason why we are using the, this kind of reciprocal notation of del. Um, if we use the same notation for backward formula also ma'am, yes we can use, does not matter. We are differentiating the formula to uh, the students how to identify the forward or backward that is the reason why we are using like this. So, here del y0, del y1 etc is first order backward difference and del square y0, del square y1 etc are called second order backward differences. So, to differentiate the forward and backward only we are uh, denoting the del like this. Okay. So, in the formula for forward we have the formula is p into p minus 1. Okay, in all the result we have p minus 1, p minus 2 etc. In the backward formula we have everything in the plus p into p plus 1, p plus 2 etc. Remaining all the terms and uh, notations are same only. So, now we will see the first problem under this. Look at the first question. Find the polynomial which takes the values x values 0, 1, 2 and y value is 1, 2, 1. So, this is the given data. From the given data, first step we are going to form the difference table. Okay. So, from the given data, so the solution, this is the procedure to write the formula under this topic. The solution, the difference table is. So, how we are writing the difference table from the given data? The difference table is, first we will write the x data and then y data. So, the here our x values are 0, 1, 2. Okay. So, 0, 1, 2. What about our y data? Y data is 1, 2, 1. So, it is understood that uh, x takes the value x0, x1, x2. Same manner y takes the value y0, y1, y2. It is understood you need not to write that and all in the examination. Just we have we can keep in our mind. So, now we have to form the difference first difference second difference. So, that is what del y. Okay. So, del y. Del y how we can find from the second minus the first one. So, 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So, this is the difference between these two values. So, in between these two value only we are writing the del y. Okay. By the same manner here 1 minus 2. Okay. So, 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. In between these two term only we are writing the next value. 
okay so this is the first difference then del square y okay that means from minus 1 to this one okay so minus 1 and again minus 1 that is minus 2 that value between these two terms so we can write it here okay so minus 2 can we go for the del cube y no need because the value stopped up to this one so our difference table is over how we can write the difference table given data of x and y and difference between the y value we are writing del y and del square y in this problem it stopped up to this if suppose it continues in some other problem we can continue the table so the difference table is over now first value of x first value of x and first value of y is x0 and y0 x1 y1 x2 y2 so in this problem up to that values only so here x0 equal to let x0 equal to first value of x that is equal to what 0 ok and what is the difference between the x data 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 0 1 is always equal difference only this formula is only for the equal interval ok so obviously here h is equal to what h is equal to 1 now we are going to find the value of p what is p p equal to x minus x naught by h p equal to x minus x naught by h so x minus x naught is 0 h is 1 so p equal to x which implies p equal to x why we are finding this p for the formula ok so by Newton's forward interpolation formula Newton's forward interpolation formula what is the formula we have we are supposed to write the formula ok y p equal to y naught plus p uh, sorry del y naught plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y naught plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial del cube y naught plus etc it goes up to n terms ok so this is the general formula of forward interpolation now we are going to substitute the values of p and del y naught del square y naught y naught value so what is our y naught y naught is 1 first beginning value of y ok so y naught value is 1 what is our p p is x del y naught in the first difference first value is del y naught so this is the del y naught here del y naught is 1 ok so 1 plus p p is x into p minus 1 x minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y naught del square y naught is minus 2 so in this problem the difference table completed up to second difference so there is no need of uh, remaining terms we can stop up to this so now we are going to simplifying this we can get the answer because the question is find the polynomial so obviously it will be a equation in x so 1 plus x plus multiplying these two terms x square minus x divided by 2 factorial values 2 into minus 2 we can cancel these two so which is equal to 1 plus x when you are multiplying with this minus we can get minus x square plus x so we can arrange the terms minus x square plus x plus x 2x plus 1 so the required yp ok the yp equal to minus x square plus 2x plus 1 this is the required polynomial because the question is find the polynomial therefore yp equal to if you want we can multiply this by minus you can get x square minus 2x minus 1 ok so how we have done the problem from the given data write the table value of x and y and form the difference table ok how to find out the different table values subtracting the second element from the first one 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 2 minus 1 for this next one minus 1 minus 1 we are getting minus 2 so here x0 is first beginning value of x that is x0 h is nothing but difference between the x data 1 minus 0 1 or 2 minus 1 1 so h, h is equal to 1 p equal to x minus x0 by h so x minus 0 by h which is equal to x so after completing all this we are going for the forward interpolation formula in this one we are substituting the value of y0 p and del values ok so y0 is 1 
p values x del y naught is 1 here p is x x minus 1 2 factorial del square y naught minus 2 we can stop up to this only because in this problem the table value that is the difference table completed up to del square that is the reason why we have stopped up to this expanding this we can get the required uh, solution of the polynomial because the question is the question is find the polynomial which takes the values that is the reason why we have the answer in the equation of x okay thank you for watching